Hello everybody, my name is PowerQ and if you've seen my channel, you know that I'm pretty much the best racer out here. If you got like Michael Schumacher here, well, <laughs> you could put me right up here. <laughs> Being the best driver out here, I started wondering. I, my mind started wondering and I began to ask questions. I know, I know, that's dangerous. You shouldn't ask too much questions. They're watching us. <laughs> but I was wondering if I'm the best driver and everybody knows that, why do I still keep on racing? And I thought it was an interesting question to discuss with you guys. Why do we race? That's what today's video is about. And I got a few different topics to cover so let's just dive straight into it so the first thing is uh, do we race because we want to win and the clear answer is no because i never win i've never won a race a serious race that is for example a set of corsa competizione i race a lot in there and the best i've done is second place never won and i think if it was all about winning i would have quit a long time ago it's not about winning i think so maybe it's about driving cool cars that you would never drive in real life i mean a gt3 car uh, i don't think i will ever drive one. this thing i don't think that's even possible in real life so maybe it's about that maybe i keep on racing and maybe we all keep on racing because we can drive the cars we can't in real life but if that was the case we wouldn't be racing so much, now would we? If I would just wanted to drive cars I couldn't drive in real life, I would be lapping the Nordschleife with this thing. So maybe that's not it either. Maybe it's the excitement we get from. When you're racing toe to toe with someone, when you're inches apart, when you can just tap on the window and say, hey buddy, if I just do this with my steering wheel, we're both dead, it's game over for us. Or you, you've been defending like six laps. You're in whatever place you are. If you're just driving spectacularly, maybe you're attacking, maybe you've been defending for a few laps and you're just racing closer and closer with each other and, and no accidents happen. Maybe a little scrape here or there, but no crashes, no incidents. And you, you both survive that race and you feel like you've really been challenged and you get that sigh of relief. But sometimes racing is not really exciting. Like when you're practicing constantly and you can get that excitement somewhere else as well. If we would just be chasing that excitement, I think all of us would be skydiving right now. If it's not excitement. Maybe it's accomplishment. Imagine your first few weeks, you're crashing all the time. You can't get it right. You're spinning out at every turn, but slowly over time, you're getting better and you get that first race. Maybe it's a 20 minute race and you're, you're doing it. You're not spinning out. You're not crashing. And when you're done with that race without crashes, without spinning out, without ruining someone else's race, you get that feeling washing over you. You sit there in your chair and you're going, oh, finally, I did it. I did it. I've done it. I didn't crash. And maybe you're dead last, but that doesn't matter. And then comes the next accomplishment, not being dead last. And you're racing and you're racing and maybe a month goes by and you're always last. But then that one race, you're feeling yourself and you're just wiggling, waggling all over the place. and you get 14th out of 16 players the 16th guys in the pits and you can see the 15th guy right behind you god damn that feels right that feels good that's an accomplishment but that fades it fades so quickly because you want more you get gluttonous you get greedy all the sins they are bestowed upon you your little sim racer brain is sinning and God doesn't like it. <laughs> You're working for those accomplishments. And I think that's, that's the big part of it. I think accomplishments fade. It's not about the trophies in your shelf, but it's about you 
as a sim racer knowing what you've done to get those trophies. Maybe you're slaving away days, weeks, months, your lap in that track, that one track that's your speciality. And you're lapping it and lapping it and not every lap goes good. Not every new lap is a new record. And maybe you don't see a new record for weeks. But you're still doing it for eons. You are longer on that track than our solar system has existed. You are uh, a star in the night sky. <laughs> you are a star in my eyes, buddy. You're working on it. Each day you put in at least a few laps so that you can get good at it. And then that one race comes where you're just cruising on by, you're steady, you're not losing control, everybody around you is crashing, and you're saying, mm, I think it's fine. And you get in second place. You finish that race in second place. And you feel like, ah, yes, I did it. Mom, dad, please be proud of me now, finally. And they're not, but that doesn't matter. You are proud of yourself because you know you put in the work and now you get the fruit of your labors. You get to eat them, you get to harvest them or whatever you want to do with them. And I think that's why we race because there's always that dragon perched on top of that rock. And in his cave, there's that gold, that gold medal that you want. And maybe you're winning on public lobbies. You're winning all the time, but you know that even though you're making all those mistakes and still coming in first place, you're not the best around. Uh-uh. Hell no. You're not the best around. There's one guy out there and you gotta beat him. You gotta beat him. He's that dragon. I think that, that focus, that purpose, uh, striving for accomplishments, that pot of gold that that dragon is hiding, that's what, what keeps us racing. That's what I think. Maybe you disagree with me. Leave it in the comments down below because I want to talk about this. I just wanted to get a little philosophical on your butt and I hope you like it. I hope you like the video and I hope to see you next time in my video. So subscribe if you like to see more sim racing content like this. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. I hope you have a nice day. I hope you have some beautiful meal tonight uh, it's exquisitely beautifully deliciously crafted by a gordon ramsay type dude and you're you're all oh, you're stuffing your cheeks and you're having a good old time and after that i hope you're full and you fall asleep well and you dream about a beautiful uh, person that you're falling in love with and you're you have a genuine affection for them and and you spend your lives together and then you wake up from that dream and you think yes that's what i'm gonna do and you have a great life after that but before all that i hope you have a nice day and i hope to see you next time my beautiful baby boys and my beautiful baby girls mm -hmm. i love you thank you so much for watching <laughs> i love to hang this thing right up and then just just fool around with it a bit maybe put a spaceship there Spaceships are cool. Maybe the Death Star. Maybe I'm destroying the Death Star right now. Who I, I, who knows? It, it would be cool. I mean, I could put anything there. It's green. But anyway, I hope you have a good day. I hope you get lots of love from people around you. And if not, you're always welcome to join the Discord and hang out with us. Those guys just fooling around on there. All right, I see you later.